So we're getting ready to go live. The moon is rising. It won't actually be full until tomorrow, but it's going to be plenty big tonight. So come on in. It's Terry Ann Hyman here. I'm going to go ahead and share it to my Facebook group, the Empowered Spirit Circle, and share it on Facebook as well. So go ahead and get yourself ready. Get yourself situated. If you have sage, grab it. If you have some crystals, grab those too so that we can really get this ceremony going and align with the energy of the full moon. Looking for it on Facebook. It always takes a while for everything to catch up. Let's see if I find it. So how is everybody tonight? Here we go. Okay, I see me. Always funny, right? Here we go. I'm going to share it in the group. So if you're not in my Empowered Spirit Circle, Come on over. We have lots of great things going on over there. Meditations, information, like-minded people. All right, here we go. We got this one shared. Yay. And I think that's all I have to share. <laughs> I don't think I uh, share it on the other. All right. So it's a few minutes before. Get yourself situated. We're going to just take a few moments. Offer a ritual for the energy of that full moon come in. Talk a little bit about the cosmos and then do a little reading. All right. So that's what we have in mind. So how is everybody? I know for myself, I was a little crazy these last few days leading up into this energy. I was running around feeling myself caught between an old and a new feeling that kind of energy. And I know I was really emotional, had a lot of stuff to release out and let go of. And so, yes, Luckily, I meditate, I do my work, and yesterday I was up in the medicine wheel. It was a beautiful day, and I was really able to meditate for like over an hour and a half, practice my energy work, run my energy, all those many kind of things that really helps us to really find ourselves back into the center of who we are. I lit a fire, I was burning old documents, I was crying, I was just letting it pour out. And so today... I'm able to feel so much better. I'll be honest, I really am. I'm able to feel so much better, so much in center with who I am. So we're going to talk about that in just a few more minutes. We're going to give it two more minutes so that everybody join that can. And everybody's probably busy running around, Passover, everything that's going on. So we'll see. Let's see if I can tell who's here. Swipe it. We'll find out. I see somebody's here. Hello. Yeah, I'm still learning how to use Facebook. I can't quite tell says swipe, but it ain't swiping. <laughs> so come on in. So we can get started. This energy is a great energy today. It's actually a big energy. It's actually big changes going on. That is exactly what it is. Let's see if I can figure out how to see who's here. If you're here, say hello. Give me a thumbs up. Give me some hearts. That'll help me to know that you're here. Otherwise, I hope I'll see you later. You'll see this later. Would you come on in? Sandra, where are you? I know you asked me to do a card. There we go. There's Adrian. Thanks, A. I love your thumbs up. Yay, I appreciate it. Love seeing all those pictures of you. You look beautiful. Love it. Love it. Dressed up and out on the town. Loved it. Yes. So how are you feeling today? I know it's a little intense out there, right? <laughs> So for me, it took a few days, but now I am. I'm feeling grounded. All right, we're right at 5 o'clock. So let's just come in and take a moment and begin to ground our energy. Maybe you've been running around all day, so just pulling all that energy in. Let's take a moment and just pause. Pause in our busy day. Taking a pause. And just noticing where your energy is right now. Feeling your feet on the ground. Coming into the moment. Yes, there is so much energy going on out in the cosmos. We started into that Mercury retrograde yesterday. We've already had Venus in retrograde. We've got Saturn and Pluto as well coming up throughout the month. So this theme, as I've been reading all over the place, is all about intensity. It's that roller coaster of energy, right? It's sometimes feeling really high and sometimes feeling really low. Bursts of energy. Yes, that is what is going on right now. Especially as we're moving forward, then the retrograde. It's like all this push-pull, push-pull. So maybe that's what you're feeling as well. 
I know I was talking about right at the beginning there that the last few days I had to clear out so much energy and now I feel like oh, I am on top of the world. So yes, we have to be able to balance that energy out as well. With all these planets in retrograde and this big old full moon coming up tonight, we're going to feel it. We are definitely going to feel it. You're going to feel that intensity with yourself. This is big change. And if things are going on for you, this is no easy feat. All right. This is stuff that we need to look at. This is karmic lessons right some folks dark night of the soul that kind of energy is what is happening because a lot of that truth is starting to break up so when we get that full moon coming in it shines the light and it starts to open that up for us so sometimes we don't want to see it <laughs> sometimes we want to just keep busy 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 right we can we can do that but then we'll feel that intensity even more so when we can stop and when we can process that energy that's exactly what we're being called to do that's where that retrograde energy comes in renew review redo go back and look at what's going on for you even go back as early as like two weeks ago when we set our new intentions go back and read them I was just doing them I have them on my altar I was just reading my new intentions hmm that's what I said so it's interesting just to even review that but go back and look at the year thus far too we just went through the first quarter right if you're a business person you'll know that we just went through that first quarter look and see what's working what isn't right and this is that opportunity to go back and either fix it or go back and just recycle it right there's the option there's a choice we're talking about that today life is a choice we get to choose the things that we want to do so that's what the energy is about too relationships yes we're going to see a lot of that energy coming up as well in the relationships very important so if you're struggling a little bit you may be struggling a lot a bit right some of that intensity is looking at you in the face so it's important not only do you say, well, where's the relationship, but where am I in that relationship? Where am I and who am I right now? Who am I listening to? Yes, I talk about that a lot about my own story. Who was I listening to? Finding that spiritual direction within you is what this month is all about. And that's exactly what can help you. Yes, finding that direction with you. Business partners, business relationships, this is the time. I like this one because this is what I'm banking on. This is the time to really take that leap, to really risk it, be daring, go for it. Really put yourself out there if you're in a business or you're with a partner in a business. Really take some leaps for the own growth of your company. Now's the time to use that energy. It may feel crazy. Be smart. I'm not saying be careless or reckless, but this is the time to give yourself a little bit of that push. Really important. And then what about Mother Earth? Mother Earth we need to look at too, right? We had that crazy ass storm last week, right? The hail, in my yard hail, and the pine cones coming down. Crazy, limbs falling everywhere. Yes, Mother Earth is speaking to us. Really important that we figure out what it is that we need to do for her just as well. We really do need to really be in tune with what she has to say as well. So there's lots of turmoil going on. And how do we deal with all of this? We ground. We ground, we ground, we ground. We ground our energy, we connect with Mother Earth, and we begin to feel what she has to say. We begin to trust in her energy, and that's how we grow. And that's where the abundance comes from, and that's where we understand relationships. I mean, look at, look at spring right now. Look at everything blooming and opening, right? We need that energy to come together for all of us. So lots of things to really, really look for right now as we move through this month. A couple of weeks will come around to the new moon, right? We'll be setting new intentions again, still in retrograde. But for now, with the intensity of the full moon, this is where we really want to balance the emotional, physical body. We want to balance the spiritual and the physical body. We want to bring all of these things back into alignment so that we can ground and we can understand those many nuances about ourselves and about our path. This year, we're having many opportunities for growth especially karmic growth. Karmic growth is the growth that we do when we have our lessons to learn. That is very, very important. When we have those lessons to learn, that's where that karmic growth is really important. That's why it's so intense. That's why we have to do, go through this. If we don't, the lessons just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So yes, we have to go through these sometimes, right? And then sometimes you'll notice when you've done your work and you're in alignment that, okay, you can kind of move through, but that's because you keep coming back. And grounding your energy so that's pretty much what's going on with the cosmos yes tonight when you look outside it won't be pink that's a Native American lore it won't be pink but it's gonna be big and it's gonna be beautiful 
I always remember this full moon particularly from my younger days. This is when the Passover Seder is, the first night. It represents all that freedom, that religious freedom, that freedom from slavery. So we talk about that with this moon that's coming up. We talk about that. Where is your freedom? Where is your own individual personal freedom to express your path? That's the energy that we're having right now. And then Easter's going to follow, Good Friday coming up, Easter, all that energy as well, that rebirth, that spring. So this is a big full moon. And next month in May, we go into the Wisak, which is that really highly Buddhist spiritual energy that's gathered in the Himalayas and comes out to us. So this full moon sets up that energy as well. So as I say, get with it, get into it, ground be a part of the energy rather than running from it, rather than hiding, rather than being caught off. Today in the, um, on the Blog Talk Radio show, it was really great. Talk to Michael Pascal. We drew a card. It was all that glitters. And it was reversed. It was talking about don't be caught up in all those shiny objects, really. It's now is the time to kind of really pull in and see what's already within. So very important for there. He was great on the Empowered Spirit show. He was really good. His book is really great. I really offer it, especially that Tung Lin practice. Really important. For all the empathic people out there that are picking up the energy, really important, just as it is to bring it in and feel it, such is the responsibility to release it back out so that all the cells can vibrate and we can have that cycle of energy. We talked about that today on the show. Check it out. So tonight, what I'd like to do is take a moment and offer this ritual. You can find it on LinkedIn or I'll post it in the group of doing a ritual to bring in the energy to align with what's going on so that you can feel that emotional body aligning with the physical, aligning with the spiritual, aligning with the mental, and pull the energy in for you. All right, so if you have some sage, get your sage. If you have some crystals, I've got the crystals set up here. Get the crystals, and we're going to begin the ceremony now. So just take a breath. Inhaling. and exhaling. Inhaling, pulling that breath all the way up from the earth and exhale, sending it all the way back down deep into Mother Earth. Inhaling, bringing that breath all the way up the spine and exhale, sending it all the way back down deep into the earth. As we open up to the element of fire, lighting the sage, clearing the area, clearing your room, clearing the crystals as well. Feeling that energy come in to create that sacred space for your own self. No matter where you are, creating a sacred space is important. Inhaling and exhaling. We call in the energy of our spiritual guides, our masters, our teachers, the archangels. We bring them in, great spirit. We bring them in. We ask that they work with us and through us to surround us and protect us as we offer this work today. Calling in the beautiful full moon energy, opening up to that big old light outside that we will all see later on for the most part. Bringing that energy in, let it illuminate your spirit, your soul, so that you can be that light. Allow it to let go of the darker parts of who you are. We bring in the element of earth. As we take our crystals, if you can, hold on to one in our hands. These come from the earth. They're of the earth, from the earth. We hold on to them. Fluorites are beautiful crystals right now. Help to balance the emotional and mental. Really good to use. Good for the thymus. Good for your emotional body. Selenite brings in clarity. We all are needing clarity right now. So we bring in these elements from the earth. As we open up and come into our hearts and we open up into the element of water, the emotions, and just feel right now. Feel where you are. Are they up? Are they down? Are they all over the place? Feel those emotions running around. And then ask yourself if there's any that you can release and release them right down, down the body to the earth with the breath, exhaling out, inhaling back up from the earth, exhaling back out, inhaling, And as you begin to get really quiet, 
Feel the vibration all around you of the crystals. Allow yourself to shift just a little bit. And just ask your own self right now within, are you listening? Are you there? Spirit, my direction, my guidance, I'm here. Hear the response for yourself right now. Inhaling and exhaling. And then ask another question. Ask what it is you need right now. What is it you need to get out of your way? What is it you need to open up? And just listen again. Listen. Ask for that clarity with the selenites. Listen. And then continue the breath, inhaling and exhaling. And you can continue asking as many questions as you want, as you need, as you have on your mind. Go ahead and ask. And put all of that energy into your crystals right now. Put that energy there for you. Let the crystals hold it. Let it pull it out of you and put it into your crystals. And then later tonight, take them outside or on a window seal and let the moonlight come in. And let the moonlight wash over, radiate all over the crystals. And let them release whatever it is that is no longer serving. And let them recharge your crystals under this retrograde. Let them recharge them. Let them cleanse them, recharge them. And then you can program them coming again around new moon. But for now, take those energies, put them in your crystals, take those questions, take those unanswered questions and put them into the crystals and allow that beautiful light of the moon to shine down on them. You can charge them, you can add Reiki to them to help in this process. If you know the symbols, I would like to use the Seheki tonight to remove any blocks any emotional energy, sign it, release it. Let the crystals help you. Let them do the work for you. Make it easier than it needs to be, than it has to be. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale out and feel your feet grounding on the earth. Allow that shift to continue. Allow these changes to come forward, all for your highest good. We are in a shift. We are in a transition. I feel it. I feel a whole portal of energy from an old way of working for myself, opening up to a whole new way. I'm not sure the new way, but I am opening up, moving through that doorway. Yes, taking that risk, that change that is so needed right now. I offer you the same. Know you're supported from the universe. So just take a nice deep inhale and exhale. I'm going to do a reading for this energy right now using the wisdom of the oracles, loving these cards. I should be getting my new tarot cards. Colette Baron reads cards are coming any day. I haven't changed a tarot deck in many years. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, so we're going to do three cards. We're going to kind of look at what's going on. We're going to kind of look at the challenge, and then we're also going to look at an action that we can take. So take a deep inhale, whoops, one jumped out, we'll take it, exhale, all right, start off with blessed, yay, happy, happy is the next, and why, very interesting cards, all right, blessed is a 22, all right, so when we see those numbers right, we feel blessed, so it's reminding us that yes, we are blessed, even under the light of the moon, even with all the political stuff going on, even with all the, the retrogrades, we are all blessed. It's beautiful. Purples and pinks, a fairy sitting up there, an angel sitting up there, really beautiful, flying above. So remember, no matter what, no matter what direction your life is taking you, gratitude is really important. And feel that blessing. Feel those feelings of being blessed in your life. It is. It's a choice. So the thing that comes up is the happy, happy. Now, I love this card because it's happy, happy, right? We all want to be happy, right? But sometimes we have to look beneath the surface, all right, and see what's stirring that up. And are we really happy? 
or is it surface level? That's what this comes to mind when we talk about the position of where we chose it. Are we really happy? It's an eight. Eight is about abundance. Are you happy in your work? Are you able to do what you want to do? So look at that energy. And maybe you are, and that's great, right? Right now I feel very happy. Today's been a happy day, so that's great. And know how to balance that happy energy. Very important this month, knowing how to balance that happy month. And then the next question is why? So that's an action. So that's telling us to go deeper, deeper within our own self. Why? It's a four. Four helps us to seek harmony. It's got a book opening with wings. It's got someone challenging it. It's got a big old question mark. So now is the time to challenge the things going on in your life. Challenge the happiness. Challenge yourself. Why am I happy? What am I happy for? What am I not happy for? What is my path? What am I doing? Am I staying in the comfort? Yes, I know for myself that's part of the karmic energy that we uncovered at the North Node workshop. Getting out of that comfort zone. Maybe that is there for you too. Why? Why do we need to do that? Really great card. It really opens up the energy of this month as we go forward. Really important that you stay connected to energy. Stay connected to spirit, to Mother Earth, so that you can understand, ascertain all this information for your life right now. So take a nice deep inhale and exhale out. Just noticing the energy around you. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Give me a thumbs up if you want another card reading. If you want me to draw another one. It feels pretty good. So just taking this energy in. Taking it all around you. Feeling that coming up for you. Alright, I got a couple of thumbs up there. Adrian, I'll offer you a card. Is that right? Would you like one? June, would you like one? Give me a little thumbs up. That'll be good. I can really only see people that are in the natural forces, I think. I'm not exactly sure. I can't tell both. But all right, here we go. So, Adrian, I'm going to draw one from you. These cards are beautiful. Here we go. Never-ending story. Hmm, that's kind of interesting, right? Never-ending story. So it does look a little bit of a challenge. So that's kind of, all right, what are those things that we tell ourselves all the time? What are we sitting on top of? She's sitting on top of a, a cup. It's almost like a champagne cup. And it's trying to ascertain information. What is that never-ending story? So this is one of those things that we're going to go into and look at deeper as you go through this month. All right, it's a, it's a 37, which is a 10, which is a 1. So it offers you that opportunity to release out and open up to what it is. It also reminds me a little bit of the chatter of the mind. So we also have to remind ourselves to get out of that chatter of the mind, right? And get out of that and move into the heart. She's holding her head like, okay, what is it? So that's some of that chatter that we go through. And on this month of April is really kind of got that energy moving around and around and around, right? So it helps to do that those are my jam all right yep i got you on that one so really getting out of the chatter of the mind and that's a good card for all of us getting out of the chatter of the mind letting that chatter go letting that never ending repeat 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 go right we're in the retrograde so release it out and let it go and see if you can come back to a new point right when we reduce that 10 to a 1 that's a new beginning with where we are so allow this month to really release out some of that excess energy right that's been hanging around that's what I feel this card is all about. All right. Yay. Some good energy there. All right. Sanjay, if you're there and I don't see you, I know you asked me before, I'm going to draw a card for you. Milk and Honey. What a beautiful card. It's a six. So sixes are good about creating those things and looking back at our life. There's a rainbow in there. Milk and Honey. There's a little animal. I can't quite tell what that is eating it. It's got milk and honey in both. It's got the rainbow over it. Beautiful card. So open up to the expanse in your life, Sanja. Open up, really open up and find those rainbows all around you. Maybe you're feeling a little troubled and you don't see it and that's where we have to open up more. Or maybe you're on top of the world and it's like, okay, let me just ground that energy a little bit. But do appreciate the things that you have in your life. Just like we talked about with the blessed card, Really finding gratitude for all the many things that are already around you so that you can enjoy. All right, Adrian, thanks for joining me. Have fun at Hoop Dance. What a great activity. Yay. All right. 
So really, overall, the intensity of April is here with us. We have the retrogrades and many planets. Stay grounded. Try not to initiate anything brand new. Don't go buy a car, a new computer, any of that. Just really go back and really look at what your life is asking for you right now. And ground that energy deep into the earth. Take your crystals out. Let them charge with the light of the moon. Let them be cleansed. Let them do some work for you. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. And if you're not part of my Empowered Spirit Circle, I'd love for you to join Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. You can go to Natural Forces Studio, click on the picture there, it'll take you over, or even my own personal page, Terry Ann Hyman. Click on the link and it'll take you over there. So I hope to see you in the group. Enjoy this full moon when it comes up tonight. Maybe it'll wake you up. Look out. Breathe it in. Call back all your energy. Let the intensity shine on you. Let the darkness be released. Come back around. We'll be into the new moon soon enough. For now, enjoy the new moon, the full moon. I'm already ahead of myself. Enjoy the full moon and the beautiful intensity that comes with it. Look out. Bring it in. Allow it to come into your spirit. Find that direction, that spiritual direction for your life. Be the light. Help those around. Thank you for joining me. To your spirit. Namaste.